getting ready to deliver these beehives that I've painted for my client, uh, Dr. Tim Liptak. He's a dentist in downtown Charleston, and one of his side hobbies is beekeeping. And he had introduced me to it last year. Uh, he sent me a, a private message last year and asked me if I'd be interested in painting his beehives. And my first question was, how do I avoid, avoid getting stung? And then he explained to me that these beehives were empty, but they would be used <laughs> for beehives, active beehives, after I painted them. Anyway, um, he was a past client of mine many years ago when his first child was, uh, just prior to his first child being born, I had the privilege, the awesome privilege of painting me their nursery mural, which was an African uh, safari theme. Safari. Safari. And I really enjoyed doing that for him. And then I've painted a few other things for him. Uh, painted a dental mural for him in his office. Um, twice. Two different offices. Anyway, so that's our story. So we go way back. And so when he contacted me, I was like, yeah, I'm always up for a challenge. What's this all about? So he explained to me, it's actually an old art um, that people used to do many years ago. And there is a reason for it. It's not just to make it pretty for people to look at, but it prevents what's called drifting uh, with bees. So bees actually, which I knew nothing about honeybees, I knew nothing about bees except for I had an allergic reaction when I was a little girl to a yellow jacket. Um, anyway, that's another story. I did not know that bees actually go back to the same hive. Uh, they recognize their hives, but they travel thousands of miles. In fact, I think I just read that they will travel what would be considered three and a half times around the earth in mileage just for a little over two pounds worth of nectar. That's pretty awesome. Pretty amazing creatures. And then they come back to their same hive if they recognize it. And so they can recognize it by colors because bees see colors. Now they see colors differently than we do. Um, they can't see red. Red is black to them. Um, they have color preference. They really like violet, purple, blue, of course yellow. Um, those are their favorites. So it's not just the scent of a flower, but it's also the colors of flowers. So painting the beehives protects the beehive, but it also provides a nice home for the little working bees that make the honey for all of us. I thought that was an interesting story. Anyway, I'm about to deliver um, the two Layens hives that I've worked on. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the glare in the back of the car, but I will include pictures in this little video. And some of you have seen uh, some of the photos of them after I got them painted. I've also done uh, two Langstroth, Langstroth, that's a hard name to say, Langstroth hives for Tim and one of them this one is a real big surprise you just kind of got a glimpse of it but this one is kind of a really cool surprise so being as Tim is a dentist he asked me he says can you incorporate my red toothbrush which is his logo into one of the bee boxes and I'm like I was actually thinking of doing that even though bees don't really care for red It'll just be one little area. They don't see black either, so, and there's some black in, in all of these. Anyway, so I did this, and he has not seen it. So, you can see that. I actually took the little cutouts where you handle it, 
These don't have teeth, just so you know. They don't have teeth. They might feel like it if they sting you, but they do not have teeth. Anyway, this one does. <laughs> and here's his logo. And I painted it all the way around to look like a bee, including the bee butt. And that's down there where the little stinger is, his legs. So all the way around is an actual bee. And this one below, it's kind of hard to see because it's buried in the seat. Um, I'll post the photos of that too. But that one is actually a um, marsh and sunset. And on the other side of it is the Cooper River Bridge which is a famous uh, location here in Charleston. We have the annual Cooper River Bridge Run, um, which accidentally, oops, sorry about my finger being on the front of the camera. Kind of novice, you know, I'm getting a little better. Anyway, um, the Cooper River Bridge Run is April 6th this year on a Saturday. It's an annual event, it's huge. And then the very next day, April 7th, is the Charleston Bee Expo, which I will be participating in. Uh, so I will be the only artist that's there, and I will have bee boxes. So if you are interested in coming to see me, uh, check out what I do. Um, plus I'll have a lot of other bee artwork there that'll be available. So that's what's going on right now. It's been a little while since I made a video. I apologize about that. I actually have made several. I just haven't edited them yet and posted them. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one um, next. So, all right. So let's see what Tim has to say about his beehives. So I'm going to take off now.